This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So yesterday we have seen uh, make to stock. We have completed our uh, cycle, which was uh, creation, uh, converting from plan order to production order. And then we have seen uh, purchase requisition how to convert to a purchase order, how to do the goods receipt, bring in the raw material stock and goods issue towards our uh, process, uh, production orders using 261 movement in Migo. We have seen the conf confirmation using CO11N and then we have also seen our goods receipt. Okay. So that's all we have seen and today we will be looking at strategy number 11, how it behaves. Before that, uh, Hari, did you try to complete anything uh, which was pending and did you get any issues? Yes, sir. But, uh, yes, sir. I get an issue, hmm. but I am unable to enter the unit price for the item. Uh, where? Um, in the purchase requisition? Purchase yes, yes. order or okay. But in the purchase order, I have selected the purchase. Let us see for which material? Requisition. No, no, no. Material, material. Tires, windscreen, engine. In engine, engine. Okay. So this is the one, right? This two. This two. Yeah, the, this is the one. Uh, I have selected this purchase order now. Mm. Okay. And I have selected this uh, purchase order number. And, and click adopt, I have selected. Okay. Yes, I have selected adopt also. Then uh, mm -hmm. I have selected for the uh, this header. Did you select? Yeah. Uh, Supplier okay. I have selected. Mm -hmm. The header for purchase organization I have given and the purchase 001 I have given. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in the in the item details, no. In the item details, I need to give the price, right? It is not asking right now, but let us see if I check. So it, it is not asking me. It's already already picking up. Let me save it. Yeah, it is converting. Anyways, you can try oh, from here. Sure. Okay. okay. You can either try from here and uh, I'll leave this for you. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'll show you the other one, um, the strategy 11 in our different uh, material. Okay. I can use the same right. material or I can use another material. Okay. Or you can create your own cycle. That is also fine. Okay. All right. So, um, fine. Let me see. We can create using this. So, uh, if we are using strategy 11, okay. So, our understanding is that my demand will be reduced with the goods receipt of the production order. Okay. So, here the sales order is not in picture right now okay yes so we can see that let me see if i can use audi itself md02 okay before that i just thought of showing you one more thing um cor3 do we have order number yes uh, 
hero okay. uh, we go to the operations okay so whatever we have uh, given in our routing during confirmation it came okay so if uh, we want to go ahead and see our confirmation we can double we can first of all go in the operation and click on this confirmation number 7306 so it will give you the information what we have confirmed so sometimes in the support projects you will have to come and see that what exactly business confirmed if they are saying that okay this 240 minutes is not coming maybe at the confirmation time they have not given this entry okay so how to verify this so you have to go inside the confirmation screen and then you have to see it okay like this double click on this you can jump into this screen CO14. and co14 is your transaction to display production order confirmations okay so I, we can go one by one or we can see in one screen which is order so we have done uh, operation 10 operation 20 and operation 30 right so we can see it here if you click on this click on the details same thing you can jump directly okay like this you can verify oh, if I you can so co14 is your display order confirmations no no Harsh, i am unable to follow you uh fine so let me tell you once again so yesterday what we did we went into co 11 n right slash o co 11 n my screen is visible right yes 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 okay so we went into enter time ticket for production order okay and when right. we gave order number and operations and then we clicked on actual data and things were in place by giving yield number five right. okay now right. for right. example you are in a support project okay you uh, that business okay or the shop floor person has given number five but he forgot to give the activity activity as in uh, machine time or the labor time to complete this operation now he raises a one mm. ticket saying that uh, i have given everything in my confirmation but my uh, 240 minutes are not showing for that operation so what will you do in this case you need to go and verify that has he really done that what he is saying we cannot go by words right we have to see the system Right. So what you can do, you can go to CO14 transaction. Okay. You will enter the order number for which he or she will have an issue. Press enter. And then you can see whatever number of operation he has. So you will see, okay, 10, 20 and 30 he has done. Okay. So to see what exactly he has confirmed, we can click on that box and click on details. So you can scroll down and you can see okay he has confirmed 240 minutes okay mm. and you can come back and he says that in operation number 30 my timing are not showing has he really confirmed or not that's what we are trying to check here so labor 600 minutes okay fine now the operation number 30 he is saying that he has not uh, getting this 300 labor minutes so you can take a screenshot mm -hmm. of this and tell him that boss you have not confirmed during confirmation 300 minutes that's the reason you are not getting it so he will understand oh i have forgot to punch my 300 minutes so this okay. is the verification how will you verify the issue okay so that one part is doing confirmation okay doing gi doing gr the other part is we need to verify if the person has really done it. He will say that I have completed all the steps. But from our support consultant, okay. as a PC consultant, you should be knowing where to check if he has really done it. We should give some evidence. Okay, you have done it. Why it is not coming? Then we can further 
uh, find the root cause. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm showing right now. And there is one more thing. Mm, logistics production shop floor on under confirmation so co13 okay so in this case let's assume that he has forgot to enter 300, uh, 300 minutes for the labor for the last operation okay now you have given him the screenshot hey you forgot to enter now he will ask you can I re-enter? Can I cancel my confirmation and re-enter? So there should be some operation, uh, option, right? That, okay, if you have done a mistake, yes. you can cancel it and again uh, confirm it properly. So go to CO13, give your order number again and say which operation do you want to cancel. So I'm saying 0030. Okay. So it will give you warning. So say yes. Okay. Now, it will not give you any option of re-entering it here. You have to directly cancel this everything. Okay. So just save it. It will ask you one screen that reason. Okay. Reason for cancellation. So you can remove this. Entered a wrong labor hours. Okay. And then just click on back. So whatever is associated with that last operation or which whatever operation they are canceling, everything will be reverted. Okay. So if uh, there is a goods receipt, auto goods receipt in your last operation, which means that we have done that MIGO in our last operation, but we will also see the automation way, right? So if that last operation is triggering your auto goods receipt, that will be automatically reverted provided that you have not used the stock. You have not sold that stock. Okay. okay. That is your catch. So here you have cancelled the um, screen. Okay. The operation. Now how it looks like will show. So again, it has become PCNF. Okay, and it has gone into the uh, the first state, re release state. Okay. Now you also see one more thing. Slash and CO14, which is my confirmation display. Now do you see this? Two line items have come. Earlier it was only one. Okay. And under this reversed, there is one tick mark. This is R is reversed. Yes. So you have yes. confirmed one and you have cancelled one. Okay. Now we are going to reconfirm it. Slash in CO 11N. And say operation number 0030. Put 5 and I'll click actual data. Okay. And I'll save it. So my confirmation is again done. If he has made any mistakes, he can rectify and then again go back and confirm it. Oh, sorry. Going to cancellation. CO14. So now do you see my again third number came. Okay. And it will have my uh, corrected data. If he has forgot to do this, he will again redo it. Okay. So this is one step I forgot to uh, tell yesterday. So we can cancel, we can redo the things and we can display the order confirmation. Okay. Now, um, let me, before we go into this thing, um, order confirmation sorry the strategy number 11 let me show you the automation way also okay so that that part is completed then you can do it by yourself okay auto 
gi and gr okay we'll do this 04 odi a4 so i have one plan order i will convert this okay before that i need stock i'll just upload it you can also see if you want to skip the purchase order part while you do your uh, testing okay so i'll say slash omigo hmm. how many screens i have opened so i will say goods issue other and then 561 okay 561 is your initial upload so whenever there is a new implementation project okay so there will be some xyz software or maybe you already have sap but you are upgrading to a newer version okay so from ecc to s4 hana you are upgrading so you will have some warehouse stock already with you there will be never an ill stock with a, a running company so what you will do what mm team will do actually uh, they will bring all the stocks they will do the first they will ask the client to do the inventory calculation okay or inventory count so whatever materials they will count that okay for my tires they have 100 stock and for engine they have already 20 engines in place how they will input in sap they will do like this they will upload the initial stock they will match their current warehouse with sap that's what we are trying to do right now we are trying to upload the stock so we are saying audi engine we want and quantity let me upload uh, we need for two three examples let me upload five engines okay and we need to enter the amount so i'm saying that 1000 and it is going in 17 10 and location is 17 c okay mm header so if we remove this detail data we can enter um, all together okay else we will have to do one by one audi engine audi tires and then audi windscreen wind windshield audi okay tires we need uh, for five orders we need 20 pieces right so we can create a little lesser also but the plan order is for 5 okay let me upload 100 tires right now okay and windshield one so we can upload 5 17c 17c okay so this is how we are doing right now if this is a batch stock you can create a batch also or system can allocate a internal batch number okay now we have to item okay is there let us click on check fine this is clear and we will post <clears throat> 